SAP's conference live in Orlando. Uh, this is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract a signal from the noise. Um, we talk to anyone. We talked to the deputy commissioner of the NBA today. We talked to all the top executives at SAP, entrepreneurs, analysts, press, you name it. We talked to it, but we love to talk to customers about what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, the story from the, the companies is always the same. Everyone's doing great. When we talk to customers, that's the ultimate testimonials, and we're here, the customer. And our two guests here is uh, Henrik Wagner from Global SAP Support with EMC. Yeah, thank welcome. You. And James uh, Yin from West Pharmaceuticals. Yep, welcome thank you. To, welcome to theCUBE. So Henry, so set the table for us. Um, sure. EMC, uh, not a stranger to big customers. We were just at EMC World uh, where we talked and, and the transformation message is, is clear at EMC side. Certainly at SAP, they're marching on the same drum beat as EMC in terms of transformation, mobility, speed, same kind of messages all kind of tying together. You have large customers. Um, and we want to talk about some of, the, some of the mechanics around the SAP environment. Sure. So set the table for us. Uh, what is happening and what are we going to talk about here? Sure, last week we were at uh, EMC World and the theme was uh, uh, transformation, right? And uh, when we look at transformation and now being at Sapphire, there's a tremendous opportunity to transform as an SAP customer. Now, why do you want to transform? Well, you want to improve business agility. And the only way you can improve business agility and move faster and innovate with SAP if you fundamentally reduce the cost of the infrastructure and the whole application landscape. And we think at EMC, one of the best opportunities to do that is to deploy a private cloud infrastructure for SAP. Either you do that on-premise or off-premise with one of our service provider. And today, we have a client here, we have many clients that have gone through this journey, but particularly a client here that has deployed and transformation from a previous physical infrastructure to virtual infrastructure in a private cloud for SAP manner. James, talk about the situation that you're in now, and, and before we get to the specifics of, of the solution, at a high level, um, what was the problem that you were running into, and how did you look at and frame the problem, and how did you attack it uh, with, the, with the virtualization, the vBlock, and the private cloud? It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, thank you. Um, before, before we implement the vBlock, um, uh, we uh, face a very critical challenge. You know. A business challenge is uh, we are running out of the data center space, and also our backup uh, uh, solution is not cannot meet uh, our uh, demand. So we cannot back up the uh, uh, production system within 24 hours. So um, that's why we think about facing this challenge. Uh, we are trying to move uh, to have a West, have our own uh, private cloud. So we think about EMC, have a solution. Um, so we last year we starting have a, a migration project. So as talk about the. the the technology involved and the, and the operation to do the project. Can you give uh, the key, what were the key variables? Yeah, basically uh, um, we have the three uh, factors to uh, for this project, this cost cons consideration and uh, timing and also the resources, uh, skill set. So uh, my CIO give me the direction. Uh, we have to complete this device within six months Otherwise, uh, data center uh, rental is out, so <laughs> I have to complete complete uh, by last Ju last June or July, and also we have to have a good um, um, backup solution. So, by having said that, um, we did um, everything in house and migrate everything from Dell physical server to the V block, but 100% virtualization. Enric, six months, data centers out of space. They have a lot. Of, it's a lot of pressure. You, you know, can, you, can you add some color because you you know you guys were close to the situation. Um, you see a lot of fast movement before. But can you just describe you know, the umbrella project and what that? Sure. Meant? You know, it's amazing. We've run into many customers recently. They've had these projects where they said they have these compelling events where they're going to go through these changes, application upgrades, data center moves tech refresh, they want to virtualize, and normally they calculate they, they would take anywhere from 12 to, to 15 months to go do this. In some cases, they wouldn't take on that much change because of the risk factors James just spoke about. But we have multiple clients that have deployed a private cloud for SAP solution, and because of the time to market and provisioning capabilities, that have been able to reduce the risk and substantially reduce the project time to six months. So obviously there are a lot of planning going into that, having the right 
resources, the right time, and the right risk, and then deploying that solution. And then most of those customers are not only seeing a successful cutover, but a very short cutover as well when they go live. So I was talking to David Floyer, Wikibon analyst, who's been really dig digging deep in this area, and he was talking to me about the private cloud and vBlock. What role does those two, what the vBlock play in this? I think uh, the private cloud with vBlock, you know, the compute, network and storage is fundamental components of building out a virtual infrastructure, a private cloud for SAP uh, infrastructure. And vBlock is purpose built for that, right? Single integration, single deployment, single engineering, and single support, right? But most interesting is when you look at capabilities before James went into this uh, journey, there are other things like data protection, monitoring strategy, security. How am I dealing with all these things before in my physical world? And then I deployed in private cloud with VCE and the vBlock, but then there's all these components that EMC adds to a private cloud solution that helps with these BCDR, data protection, security, monitoring. So James, do you mind talking maybe a little bit wider around what was deployed as well above and beyond the vBlock for SAP that helped you through this project and reduce the risk to, to accomplish it? Yeah, um, actually uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, by using a VMware a virtualization function, we can provision the, the usage of the, the system. And normally, uh, when we, uh, before we migrate from physical to virtual, uh, it's, uh, we have a seven a system landscape, landscape. And then after I migrate, uh, we have nine system landscape. But during the migration, uh, we did not increase any uh, CPU. In fact, uh, after using vBlock, we reduced the 17% of the CPU, uh, a number of CPU. That means uh, we save lots of uh, license fee regarding Oracle, uh, Oracle license fee. It's based on okay. the, because the Oracle license fee is based on the uh, number of CPU. And also because the provision function, we can easily provide a, a based on the demand instead of customer waiting a month, a month for a new system. Uh, now it's only a, a few hours after the request. So that's a that's so a kind of number? what was the percentage of reduction on the light on the on the processors? What was seventeen percent? Seventeen? Yes. Okay, so how big of an order of magnitude cost savings was that? Was it like you know small, medium, large? Put a uh, you know, um, tell us a dollar amount. That'd be great. I I can say um, before uh, migrate uh, we use uh, one hundred eighty CPUs. After it's uh, only uh, less than one sixty. Okay. And we have more system landscape. Uh, before migration, we have 86 instances. Uh, after the migration, we have uh, over 110 instances. So how does it impact your data center problem? Was it space, uh, or was it just a new facility? Actually, both. Uh, so see, uh, we have more instances with la less space. So our rental, we, uh, uh, although, uh, Still the same because we can fit more more instance. I mean, more hardware on the on the cube. What about the end users? One of the things we look at is you know SAP end users, right? You're building these systems, you're building these environments to make sure that the business is running, they can move faster. What was the end user response? And is there any examples of how agility and you know f faster time to market through a private cloud strategy uh, gave you a better uh, end user experience? Uh, sure. Uh, first of all, performance-wise, using convert from physical to virtual, the performance did not impact. And uh, the hardware resource actually, I just as just I mentioned, uh, is less resource, I mean less hardware. And within the same or even faster speed. Uh, the other thing is uh, that uh, when user want to have a new system, we can easily um, deploy the new system within hours. Within That's, hours. Yes. Very nice. Henrik, talk about the business benefits. Obviously, you guys look at a lot of customers. How does this compare and contrast other um, SAP type implementations that you've been involved in? Is it representative? Is this, What kind of use cases does this represent to it, you guys? It's very representative. What we see in large SAP clients is they constantly have the need to go build a new project landscape or do system refreshes, build out another systems, or complete this end-to-end -end project. And what consistently we see, if if something that used to take a week takes day, and something that used to take days takes hours, I can not only deploy a project end to end much faster, but I can react to end user demand, right? So when the business asks and saying, hey, I want to be able to 
provide new systems, or when the business is going through a merger and acquisition, if I can integrate that new company in three months instead of nine months because of the underlying private cloud capabilities of, of merging in system much quicker because my provisioning is much quicker, it's a huge win. I actually think it's such a big win that I think IT then gets a seat in the boardroom and it becomes more relevant in the boardroom because it becomes a competitive advantage for your company. Well, we heard the tech athletes up there in the stage, I was on sports references because of the profile sports franchises, and you know, the mindset there is, you know, it doesn't matter if we can win whatever it takes, yep. and they want to kind of make the back office kind of transparent, be software driven or software led, as we say, uh, it's looking angle, wiki bond. Uh, so James, I got to ask you, as you know, you know, EMC's got their opinion and SAP <laughs> has their opinion. You know, you're in the trenches, you're spending money, you're deploying. What was the biggest thing that you, you saw as a result besides the processors, outside of the processor, which you just noted, um, the biggest impact. And what advice would you give others that are looking at a similar kind of challenge? That's a good question, actually. Um, let me give you an example. Not only the hardware saving uh, by virtualization, but also the um, people resources. Uh, for example, though, we have a new uh, system, SCM system, uh, want to implement, and the business already uh, uh, asked lots of consulting, waiting there. If if the system is not ready, every month that's another uh, the labor dollar. Cost. Yes, yeah. the labor costs are definitely. huge. So your definitely. savings on the labor side, consulting fee, consulting people standing fee. around. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes, <laughs> well, consulting fees you eliminate those, but also you know people waiting around, right? If that's correct. Like, you That's very another intangible. We and John, we have other clients that we talk to that normally at middle of the night had to do these changes because of outage windows. We have VBlock for SAP and private cloud customers. They're making changes during the day because they can move in vMotion within the data center and within the infrastructure, and therefore they have the consultants working during the day versus at night, which is a huge saving as well. So there's many facets of that saving. So final question there is what have you learned that you can share with folks? I mean, folks, a lot of folks out there who are looking at this transformation, we heard it today, modern era, people are <laughs> pivoting to a new architecture and that includes cloud, a lot of retrofitting. It's at the beginning of that journey, as Hundred, you said that. What advice would you give people? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it's about time, don't be afraid. Um, uh, virtualization is, uh, is there. I mean, it's, it's not uh, in the future. You have to do it now to say, start saving. And uh, we, uh, we did this, for the past five years, but there's no unplanned outage, production outage, so feel confidence. Don't so worry no, about so, it. So the out, unplanned outages are not there? No. Okay, all right, well we're here inside the cube here from uh, a customer, we love it, EMC, you, know, you guys are great, like SAP, you guys like to show your value with customers, we'd like to hear it, West Pharmaceuticals here. We're going to bring in David Floyd to break it down, uh, after this short break, David Floyer is uh, the, the co-founder of Wikibon uh, with Dave Vellante and, and uh, our lead researcher in this area, and he's been researching uh, SAP virtualization. Um, before we bring uh, David in, I feel like we're like a jury. Before we bring <laughs> David into the jury box, Henri, give you the last word. What, what do you think uh, you know, David's going to be commenting about? What are the analysts saying about uh, EMC's SAP strategy? Yeah, I think the pri private cloud for SAP strategy is there, right? And a couple years ago, we were talking about clients getting there. I think we've gotten to the tipping point. There are a mass amount of clients moving to private cloud for SAP. Many of them doing on the V-Block. I, I talked about last week that we had a $100 billion retail that I just deployed a, a V-Block for SAP. So the customers, it used to be that you could gain a competitive edge from time to market if you deployed private cloud for SAP. But honestly, this year, if you're not reducing your run rate, if you're not getting that business agility by you know, deploying virtualization for SAP, you're actually going to fall behind, which is, you know, which is a measurement of the fact that we think we've seen the tipping point of this uh, opportunity for customers. Great, and James, your experience with EMC, solid, pretty good? Very good, I feel confident. <laughs> don't take it, don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> uh, James said, you know, pharmaceuticals, you know, they're, they're risk averse. They don't want to take chances because they have a lot of risk, you know, a lot of big business there and the pharmaceutical business. Thanks for coming inside theCUBE. Don't take any chances, get out there. Virtualization, save on license fees. That's a, a real enabler, but also a lot of cost savings. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. We're going to bring in David Floyd in our next segment uh, with James to kind of break down and go deeper under the hood to look at some of the nuances around how this all works and to break it down for you. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back here live at Sapphire in Orlando, we'll be right back. <laughs>